a little product demo video that I'm going to put together for you guys um, with some custom leads. So you guys know if you have a 4425 scope or 4425A or higher, you basically have four channels and each channel is basically a really high powered voltmeter. So you have to reference each channel to ground. So standard hookup uh, for me, I'm really not the neatest person in the world, but this would be a kind of a look at what it would look like with the leads that come with the scope. So on channel A, let's say I'm going to use number one for an ignition sink. And of course I'm referenced to battery ground. Channel B, I'm going back here and I'm gonna check a crankshaft position sensor because I'm gonna do a cam and crank correlation. So I'm way back here, the crank sensor is hard to get to. And now I've got a reference here to channel B. And then channel C, I'm gonna go ahead and get my camshaft sensor here. And then there again, I've got to reference it to ground here. So I've got this kind of the stack going on. I've got a couple of extra wires going across. As you can see, I'm not the neatest uh, guy in the world. I'm looking for information and data and I want to get it kind of quick. And uh, I'm going to try my best not to melt down any of my wires. So what I want to do is I'm going to sit you guys down and I'm going to show you what these custom leads can do for you to help kind of unclutter some of this. So hang on. I'm going to put you guys over here and uh, let's see, hopefully you guys can see right there. So hang on, have a beer and I'll be right back to you. Alright, that was quick. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Okay, now. These are what these leads will do for you. So right off the bat, we see our blue trace here. And I only have it grounded to this. And it runs to the battery. And then the red trace is still going back here to our crankshaft sensor. Like it was before. And our green trace is now going to our cam sensor as it was before. But those two traces ground here and here. So unlike with the leads that come with the scope, you don't have to build a stack from here and stack it here. And if you if you use in this trace, you wouldn't have a ground here stacked up here. And if you had the fourth channel in, you know, so you don't have a big stack of grounds. That's a couple of extra wires that you don't have getting tangled up in stuff and aggravating you. Um, that's what these leads do for you. Um, one thing they will not do for you is if you have one of the newer scopes that auto IDs, any attachments you have, these leads will not do that. Um, you would lose that feature. I've never had the feature, so honestly, I wouldn't be losing anything. But what I would be gaining is a whole lot less wiring in my engine bay due to the ground being consolidated through the blue trace and then everybody tucked in here so if you're interested in these leads contact auto nerds uh, if you have any questions i have a link in the description block you push that takes you to the home page they have a test lead link right there um, they have a couple more sets in stock so if it's something you're interested in feel free to hit them up or hit me up for any questions Appreciate you guys checking this out.